Hey everybody, Chris here again. We're going to talk about my tadpoles again, show you guys the uh, improvements I've made to the tank, the changes I've made to the tank, and the new tank, by the way, that we'll show you in just a second. Uh, but before we get there, let's talk about the previous tadpoles that I had, the bullfrog tadpoles. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I might have, I might have told you that they were leopard frog tadpoles, and that was based on looking at Google Pictures and eventually realizing that I was probably wrong about that. I believe they are bullfrog tadpoles. I got them two weeks ago, but they could be as old as one to two to maybe even three years. These tadpoles survive for a very long time because they're so gigantic. Uh, anyways, have they changed at all? Actually, yes, two of them have legs sprouting out of the bottom of them. Bottom of them. You can actually see the little tiny, little tiny legs right there. So, after two weeks, yeah, that's all we've got so far. I was actually expecting them to grow even less, actually. But I'm actually proud of them. I'm proud that they're growing and being reasonably healthy so far. And I kind of reorganized the tank, but other than that, everything is pretty much the same. I gave them a little bit more area to hide underneath, and they seem to like it when, when they get to hide as well. Kind of hard to see, you know, Chris over there, but he's chilling, chilling, eating some lettuce of it and everything. This is Derper, by the way. Derper's chilling over there, and then Derp is still over in his corner. Derp loves that corner right there. So like I said, two of them are growing little tiny uh, leg stubs, and Derper is the only one without the leg stubs at the moment, but I think he's going to grow them fairly soon. One of the changes to the tank that I had was this plant right here, which I think I had it in my previous video, and then I'm not 100% sure about. Anyways, Chris loves to destroy that plant. He loves it. He destroys that plant like crazy. He, uh, uh, he eats a lot, obviously, they eat the lettuce and they eat the tadpole food and everything, and they're usually pretty reasonably happy doing that, but every once in a while they love to just walk over on that plant, lay on it, and then eat, eat leaves off of the plant, but they'll, what they'll do is instead of just eating a leaf, they'll eat like two bites of a leaf, rip it off, and just let it float away, and I have to spend my time cleaning up all these leaves that are ripped off and or the filter gets... Um, all clogged with random leaves. So I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another one of the plants. I thought it was a really good idea, and I still would love to keep a plant in there, but it's not really working out as well as I would like. Moving on, the other tadpole tank, which I will admit is not my favorite at the moment. I still have to do a lot of stuff to it, and I still have to adjust it quite a bit, but at the moment I'm, I'm okay with it, besides the fact that it's still dirty. The reason why it's so dirty is not because I'm an evil person and I made it super duper dirty. It's first of all because I kind of have a lot of tadpoles in here, because I was expecting you know quite a few of them to end up dying. It's just the way nature is. Tad, some of these small tadpoles will definitely die, uh, sadly, of course. But... Also, it's because I have no water movement at the moment, and I also have a lot of pond water in here, which stagnant pond water is definitely not a good thing to have in your tank. So I bought another filter. It's just a corner filter, which should help clean the stuff up just a little bit. I just can't get a strong filter, obviously, because the water's not up to the top, and I don't want to keep it up to the top, and also because uh, I don't want them to get sucked up into the filter. Look how small they are. They're little tiny babies right here. Little tiny, tiny babies. So I have not mentioned what type of tadpole they are. I'm 99% sure that they are toad poles. Again, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty darn sure that they are toad poles. Which means they are tadpoles that will turn into toads, eventually. So, uh, as far as the tank setup goes, what the heck is this green stuff in there? That is algae. So, uh, I told you guys a bunch that tadpoles love algae. They love to eat algae, so you can actually zoom in a little bit and you notice all these tadpoles. They're not trapped in there or anything. They're actually eating the algae at the moment. So, um, they love it. They love the algae, but they also do eat the lettuce and they do eat the tadpole food. They will actually eat all of that stuff very, very quickly. They are just crazy caterpillar-like things. They're quite active as well. You get a few of them that are kind of laying on the ground every once in a while. But for the most part, they're just swimming around all the time. They're just, they are just just like to be active. There are a few runts in the group. There's a few little tiny babies in there. But for the most part, I, see, I think uh, most of them are fairly healthy. As far as tank setup goes, I tried to get as much stone as I could over on this side over here, but I didn't do a fantastic job, and I probably will have to adjust that eventually, you know, once they start getting a little bit older and start uh, sprouting some legs and stuff like that. But I have a clam for them to hide under over in this little corner right here. It's a nice little opening for them. I also have a clam over here, which they can easily hide under as well. You just can't see it because there's algae in the way. And then I also have another rock over here, which uh, is... 
underneath one of these black slate-ish things, which when the water levels goes down just a little bit, which I will eventually have to adjust once they grow up a little bit more, hopefully they'll have a little bit more room to go on top of land. Because again, they're toads, which toads are not necessarily aquatic animals. They still need water and everything like everybody, but they are a lot more drought resistant, I suppose. Um, hopefully I can get my complete setup video going soon. The only other video that I really want to make is a food tutorial, like a, a, like a, not just telling you what they eat, but showing you what they eat and showing you how they eat it and how to make the food and all that, because uh, the way I think about it is I am hopefully going to save lives by doing this. I will save the tadpoles' lives by make a, by showing other people how to actually take care of them. At least that's my goal. I don't want people to just throw hose water in a tank. I don't want people to throw random tap water in a tank. I don't want people feeding them apples or bread. You shouldn't do that. It doesn't really work out. So hopefully I can uh, save some tadpoles lives in the process. And that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you have any suggestions, throw it in the comments down there. Definitely appreciate that and have a super duper delicious day.